Okay, number seven, we're going to graph the function. I'm going to start by making a table of values. So our x values, they tell us to plug in. They're very specific. They say plug in 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So to crank out my y values, or my outputs, we'll plug in those input values they gave us. So we'll plug in 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. 4 plus 5 is 9. 6 and 5 makes 11. 8 and 5 makes 13. And 10 and 5 makes 15. Now, one thing you'll notice that uh, my x values go from 0 to 10, and I've only got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 boxes. So in order to fit my x values on here, maybe I'm going to change my x scale. Instead of going by 1s, I'm going to go by 2s. So I signify that just by labeling at the bare minimum one box here to say, hey, this, is, this counts for over 2. And then I don't have to label every single one, 4, 6, 8, 10, but I like to label every other just so I can keep track of things and graph better. 2, 4, this would be 6, 8, here would be 10, 12, here would be 14. And similarly with the y values going from 5 to 15, going by 1s isn't going to cut it. So on the y-axis, maybe to go up to uh, 15, maybe I'll go by, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll go by 2s. I don't like using odd numbers because it's hard to estimate where things would lie if we're going, say we went by 3s. 3, 6, 9. Well, where's where's 5 going to be? Eh, it's going to be about there. It's going to be two-thirds of the way between them. I don't like to have to estimate that way. If we use even numbers, it makes it a little easier. So I think I'm going to go by 2s again. We've got 2, we've got 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So that last point's going to skip off a little bit, but we can estimate it. Let's plot our points. We've got 0, 5. So we'll go over 0 and up 5 should be halfway between 4 and 6. We've got 2, 7, so over 2, up 7. Let's see, we're going by 2, so 2, 4, 6, halfway would be 7. 4, 9, so over 2, 4, up 2, 4, 6, 8, there's 9. Let's see, things are lining up pretty nice here. 6, 11, so here's 6, here's 10, 11 would be right there. 8, 13 is right there. And 10, 15, so be over 10, and well, there's 14, so 15 be right about there. Again, a good little check. We're doing linear algebra the first year in algebra here, so if everything's in a straight line, things look pretty good. That's kind of our self-check. We do not connect the dots because we don't want to signify that we can use any values for x. They told us very specifically only use 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10.